Apple TV has now joined the multiverse battle. As you know, everyone, 24, everybody is doing a multiverse type of movie, a multiverse type of series. So, Apple TV joins the battle in partnership with Sony to create Dark Matter. Now, don't confuse Dark Matter with the 2015 series about a, a semi-similar story. What well, this one, with Dark Matter of 2015, it's, it's got a three seasons on. I think you should go check that out as well. Check out, look for Dark Matter 2015. It's an incredible series that's got three seasons. It was canceled along the way. But in this show, uh, six people are found themselves in a, in a ship with no memories. But let's not talk about that. We're talking about this now. Dark Matter. Okay, the story of Dark Matter follows a professor. My man, Jason. My man, Jason, is an astrophysicist. He's a professor. He's living the dream life in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. And my man has got a beautiful wife, a son, Charlie. Darcy and his wife. And everything is, is fantastic. And all goes to shit when a friend of his tells him, Hey, I just won this great award. Come celebrate me at this bar. He goes to this bar and gets kidnapped. He gets abducted, folks. By himself. No, 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 no. You heard it right. He gets kidnapped by himself. Like an alternate version of him kidnaps him. And instead of, you know what the alternate version does? He switches places. He trades lives with them. Like, Jason, let's just call Jason Earth One. Because this show has like six episodes from what I understand. Only two have come out so far. The third one's going to come out uh, May 15th, 2024. Depending on when you're watching this episode, it has six episodes. And I've only seen two of them. And I, I cannot, I could not wait. I felt like I had to do a review of this shit and get get as many eyes as I possibly can to watching this show. Now I have to say that this is just amazing. Now nothing crazy has happened yet. There's no uh, uh, time machine. There's no intergalactic loop rings. Any of that shit has happened. All I know is Jason was a little drunk. Tried to give some poor guy money, ends up getting a gun to his face, kidnapped, and then this nigga switches places with them. And then he goes to the other Jasons, let's call him Jason 2 and Jason 1, just to not confuse myself. So, Jason 1 is our original Jason, and Jason 2 is our second Jason who stole Jason 1's life. Now, Jason 2 did the other thing. In an alternate version, Jason 2 is a successful scientist, like one of the best scientists ever. He's won tons of awards. He's amazing. He started a company. He's the shit. But he does not have a wife and child. And Jason 1 did not do that. They all got the same educational background. Basically, this is a time bridge. At one point in both of these Jasons' life, Jason 1 decided to stay with his girlfriend wife. And start a beautiful family. And Jason 2 decided to pursue success. And follow the path to become a powerful scientist. At one point Jason 2. Des designed this thing that makes him teleport. Or transform into another alternate version of himself. And then kidnaps himself. And trades places with himself. So Jason, uh, Jason 2 realizes that his life sucks in a way. So he decides to trade places with Jason 1. Jason 1 is is little he wants to prosper as well win awards but he's content and happy with having a wife and kid now jason 2 steals his life and takes jason 1 to let's call it earth 2 like we're watching the flash takes him to earth 2 where jason 2's life pretty much sucks jason 2 was Disappeared for over 18, is it 18 days? What well, I forgot the amount of days he disappeared. While he was in Earth 1, Jason 2, he was studying Jason 1 in order to steal his life and just slot in perfectly. Now, the sad thing is, Jason 2 was smashing Jason 1's wife. He's smashing the dark shit out of her. She's happier than ever. Like, what's gotten into you, my dude? He, he probably had the energy of a thousand men. Jason 1 is fucking losing it. He's into his home. 
Bear in mind, these are an alternate versions of them. Basically meaning they have the same mother, the same everything, fam. Only difference is the choices got them to different situations. He lives in the same house, probably drives, he drives a better car. But he's not married and doesn't have kids. So Jason too wants that life. He's achieved everything that he can possibly achieve in the scientific world. And he wants a calm, cool family. Instead of trying to get the love of his life back. Who's started a gallery. Who's doing well for herself. He decides to go into another dimension. And steal the life of a version of himself. Which is fucking brilliant by my personal opinion. So I think anyone and everybody should fucking watch this. It's amazing. It really is amazing. I mean like. I'm lost for words. I cannot wait for the third season, third episode, fourth episode, fifth episode. I'm really going to be enjoying this. Now, usually I tend to wait and finish a show before I do a review on it. This is so good. I just had to do a review on it. I just had to. So, anyway, folks. Check this out. You won't miss out. Dark Matter on Apple TV. Now, Apple TV has come out swinging. Nope. Ugh, let's do that again. Okay, okay. The multiverse is among us. Everything is multiversal now. Marvel, Disney, uh, DC Comics, Warner Brothers. Apple has now joined the multiverse battle. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, for fuck's sake. He adopts, he gets, oh, what the fuck am I doing? <sighs> okay, let's do that again. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.